welcome back to Kev Shed. Um, today I'd like to show you the Vocal Booth Pro 2, an SL300 microphone bundle from Editor's Keys. If you're unfamiliar with Editor's Keys, they're a company that started off by specialising in doing bespoke keyboards for editing systems. So whether that's video editing or audio editing, they do shortcut keyboards which basically enable you to work much quicker. I personally use one of their EDIUS keyboards and it actually saves you loads of time once you've got your head around where the shortcut keys are. The company makes various uh, devices, lots of which are aimed at the audio recording and video recording market. Um, and this is one of their bundles of products. Essentially it's made up of the vocal booth, uh, recording booth itself, uh, includes a stand, uh, which takes the booth up to either standing height or, in this case, sitting height. The SL300 condenser microphone and the pop shield. I'm going to do some of the presentation today using my standard radio mic, my Lavalier mic, um, which is fine. It works quite well. It's one of my day-to-day -day, um, recording devices. And then I'm going to take you through some of the features using the SL300 in the booth and actually record a narration. I'm now using the Vocal Booth Pro 2 and the SL300 to show you some of the features and give you a little bit more in-depth information about the individual products that go to make up the bundle. The booth itself is of metal construction with two adjustable flaps on the outside. And then on the inside you have this foam insert with the sound deadening surface to it. And so it gives you a very flat recording. The vocal booth's panels folding in and out is a handy feature, not only because it makes the unit easier to store, but it's also handy if you want to use the unit on location. The vocal booth can be mounted on the stand which comes in the bundle. This can be adjusted between a seated position or standing up. The SL300 is a USB unidirectional condenser type microphone with built-in analog to digital converter. The microphone also contains all the necessary software to drive the unit from a PC or a Mac. There are two basic controls on the microphone. The first is a low cut filter, which knocks out any frequency below 200 Hz. The second gives you a minus dB setting if you're going to be recording instruments. Once the microphone is connected, you get a funky blue light displayed in the pickup head. The suspension bracket basically suspends the microphone on a rubber mounting system. Rubber bands go through the body of the ring of the holder and the microphone slips into a sleeve which also has a rubber insert to increase isolation. The microphone head also has additional suspension systems. The pop shield basically stops popping. When you're pronouncing B's and P's, air escaping from your mouth at those points can cause the microphone to pop. This pop shield basically breaks the air up as it leaves the artist's mouth. So that is the Vocal Booth Pro 2, an SL300 mic bundle. I think the sound the microphone gives is exceptional, bearing in mind the whole setup will cost you less than £300 sterling. The things which I really like about it, it's compact, easy to use and really quick to set up. You can be recording voice within five minutes using this unit. So there we go. The Vocal Booth Pro 2 with SL300 bundle. Check out the Editor's Keys website because it's a fantastic product and I think you'll find it really useful in your studio. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.